Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We're gonna take you on a ride uh, through Haywood Road. This is uh, almost like a miniature downtown Asheville. It's just one road though. There's lots of businesses, homes. Um, there is food galore, any kind of food you want. No fast food though, lots of local eateries. There are banks, there are car places, um, coffee shops. There is a co-op grocery store here, a police substation, um, a library, several churches are on this road. And sometimes you can see people, the traffic of people, like as if you were downtown on one of those streets. There's not a lot of tr people traffic right here, right now where we are, but we may find some. There's even a hostel on this street. If you don't know what a hostel is, um, Google it. It's a good, it's a, I think it's a great idea. It's a house and you stay in their bedrooms for much, much cheaper than you would a hotel room. It's right here, this colorful building that says West Asheville. That's uh, the hostel that we have here in town that I know of. I'm sure there's more. There's also a theater here, and not a movie theater that you would think of, but a um, music venue mostly. And it's called the Isis uh, Music Hall, I think is the rest of it. I know it's called Isis. We can't forget that. There is a furniture store coming up that has been here probably longer than I have been alive, which is very long. And there's a traditional grocery store coming up here on the left too. It's Ingalls, which is all over Asheville. We have a car wash here. Do it yourself. You don't find those much anymore. And the traffic is kind of like how downtown is on some streets. It stops a lot. We got some vacant places here. Old gas stations is what they were. Got a family dollar too, and right across the street from it is a comic book store. Um, my morning said it's just it's it's a nice little Mix residential area, just a mixture of everything from churches to eateries to oh, there's shopping. A school as well, forgot yep. to name that. And it's Rainbow Community School. It's a, I believe, a private school that um, just goes to like a certain grade level, and then. You would have to go into a different school for your your late ninth through twelfth grade. It's kind of like a head start or something like that. Or kind of. No, it's not head start at all. Well, no, but I mean it's it goes way like, beyond yeah. head start. But it's kind of like a good private type of school or something. I don't really know. And you got B and B Pharmacy. It's been here a long, long time. They will actually bring your medicine to you. It's one of the very few places you will find. You yeah, won't find that at CVS. Yeah, he delivers drugs. Yeah, he, he delivers uh, your medicine to. And and the thing is, you don't see that at CVS. You don't see that at uh, Walgreens and places like that. So that's a rarity. So it's a good little uh, place to uh, to give your time and effort too because they're putting a lot of time and effort for you. Yeah. I've noticed now there's two tattoo shops that at least two on Haywood Road. 
and um, maybe body piercings too, I don't know. That's a, a big thing here in Asheville. Lots of uh, streets to pull off or turn off of that would go into, of course, residential areas. So the people that live on these off streets can easily walk up here and get on the bus if they need to because we're on a bus route right now. Um, there's secondhand stores galore here. There's a secondhand store for about anything you want on Haywood Road. Clothes, sporting equipment, um, and in those stores, of course, they have even more. We're going to turn now off of Haywood Road. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll subscribe and like this video. Uh, if you know of anything else about Haywood Road and want to put it in the description below, that would be great. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.